Have you ever wondered what it's like to live in Del Mar? Del Mar is one of the most beautiful cities in all of California, and today I'm gonna show you what it's like to live like a local. So I'm gonna check out some of the best neighborhoods, the best beaches, and some of my favorite restaurants in Del Mar. So it's gonna start right now. The city of Del Mar is located in North County, San Diego, right in between La Jolla and Solana Beach. Del Mar is actually the smallest city in San Diego County, spanning only 2.2 miles and a population of about 4,400 people. We're gonna focus on the four main areas of Del Mar, the South Del Mar, which is called Del Mar Terrace, Village of Del Mar, Del Mar Heights, and the Beach Colony. So sit back and enjoy the ride. So Torrey Pines State Park is one of my favorite beaches and hiking trails in all of San Diego. The hiking trails are great because it is obviously along the coast, so you get some of the best views in all of San Diego. They have different levels of skill levels, so if you want to go with your kids, they have easy ones, and if you want to have more advanced hiking trails, they also have those too. Torrey Pines State Park is home to the rarest pine tree species in the United States, the Torrey Pine. The park's coastal cliffs provide breathtaking views of the Pacific Ocean, making it a picturesque destination for nature enthusiasts and hikers alike. Visitors can explore the reserve's well-maintained network of trails with options for all levels of hikers. Trails such as the Guy Fleming Trail and the Razor Point Trail offer scenic vistas of the ocean and the rare Torrey Pine. For those seeking a more challenging experience, the beach trail descends from the cliffs to the sandy shores of Torrey Pine State Beach, where visitors can enjoy swimming and surfing in one of the best beaches in San Diego. So right now I'm down at Torrey Pine State Beach, which is one of our favorite beaches. We usually go to this one or Seaside Reef up in like Solana Beach, Cardiff area. Um, so I just wanna show you where this is. Beautiful beach, it's not a very deep beach. So when it's a uh, high tide, you kind of lose a lot of the beach here. So just keep that in mind when you come down here. We actually like to go down to the north end of this beach, which is like the very north end parking lot down there. And then you can kind of go walk under a bridge. It's a little less crowded, it's a little deeper. Um, a little more room to run around and you can kind of get less tourists because living in Del Mar, you will get people visiting here. And a lot of people don't know about the north end side of the beach. So uh, check that out if you're local here in San Diego. So one other thing I wanted to point out to you about Torrey Pines State Beach here is this parking pass you can get here for $200 per year. You can park at any of this California state beaches or state parks for free. So I mean, you have to pay $200 to get it, but it is a great feature, especially if you live in Del Mar or close by Del Mar. We get this every single year because we live about 12 minutes from Del Mar and we come to this beach quite frequently, whether to go hiking or to go to the beach, which we go to frequently. So definitely invest in this parking pass if you live in the area. One other thing I wanted to mention, if you go too far south on Torrey Pines Beach, you get to Black's Beach, which is a nude beach here. I think it's only San Diego's only nude beach. So if you're with your little ones, just be mindful. Don't go too far south. Okay, next stop is my favorite coffee shop in Del Mar called Bird Rock Coffee. Bird Rock Coffee Roasters is locally owned and operated and has 11 locations throughout San Diego. They not only have great coffee, but this location has one of the best views of any coffee shop in San Diego. So two other places I can't forget to mention that are right next to Bird Rock Coffee are uh, Buena Cerro Pizza Place, which also has great views of Torrey Pines and you get little peekaboo views of the beach over there and beautiful sunsets, as well as Roberto's Taco Shop, which I've featured a bunch of times on the channel here, has one of the best California burritos I have had, especially in North County, San Diego. So if you're interested in either one of those, definitely check those out. The area around Burr Rock Coffee is called Del Mar Terrace. It's the southeastern end of D Del Mar and it's a bit of a hidden gem boasting an array of custom homes perched atop the hillside. Here you'll find a mix of architectural styles from like sleek contemporary designs to timeless Mediterranean masterpieces, many offering panoramic ocean views. Like all of Del Mar, it's a coveted, albeit quieter area, being a bit removed from the hustle and bustle of Del Mar Village, and has easy access to Torrey Pines Beach. Home prices typically start in the $1.5 million range for attached homes and around $2.5 million for single-family homes, but the allure of this neighborhood goes beyond its beautiful homes, Residents enjoy the perk of being just a two minute drive or a 10 minute walk to the beach with the added convenience of easy freeway access. Okay, next stop on our tour is the Del Mar Heights Shopping Center in the Del Mar Heights neighborhood. So we're gonna stop at the shopping area first. This is actually the only place that has, actually has a grocery store, a full grocery store here in Del Mar, which they have a Vaughn's. They also have a good breakfast place called Broken Yolk. They have Starbucks. They have Crumble Cookies, which is a great cookie dessert place if you want to check that out. Keep in mind, Del Mar is pretty small, so they don't have a ton of like big shopping areas too. So if you're looking for like a Target or a Costco or even a Trader Joe's or Whole Foods, you're going to have to go outside of Del Mar, either to Solana Beach or Carmel Valley or even Carmel Mountain Ranch if you want to get a Costco. So if you're curious about what it's like to live in Del Mar Heights, picture this. You've got the perfect mix of coastal living with a bit more space and quiet compared to the busier beachside areas. Del Mar Heights sits just above the ocean, so while you're not directly on the beach, you're super close and the views from a lot of these homes are incredible. Think ocean sunsets and cool breezes pretty much every single day. 
It's also super convenient to live here. You've got top rated schools nearby, which is a huge plus for families and shopping. You're just a short drive or even a walk away from great spots like the Del Mar Highlands Town Center, where you can grab a bite, do some shopping, or even catch a movie. Plus you're minutes from Del Mar Village and the beach, so it's easy to pop down for a beach day or hit a local restaurant. In a nutshell, Del Mar Heights is kind of the best of both worlds. You get that laid back coastal lifestyle, but with a bit more privacy and space. Plus you're close to everything you need. Whether it's school, shopping, or just a quick trip to the beach, it's the kind of place where you can come home, unwind, and enjoy the Southern California life without all the noise at a lower price tag. Okay, so now we are on to my favorite part of Del Mar, which is Del Mar Village, which is like essentially the downtown area of Del Mar. Again, it's not very big, so you can get around Del Mar very easily. This is where all the shopping is, the dining, the coffee shops. Uh, they also have one of the nicest civic centers you'll see, or town halls right behind me. This was built a few years back and it has ocean views. So I grew up in Pennsylvania. My town hall civic center did not look like this one. So what's it like to live in Del Mar? Honestly, it's pretty much like living in a postcard. The views are incredible. You've got the ocean right there with beautiful hills in the background. It's one of those places where you can literally just walk out of your house and be like, yep, this is paradise. And what's the vibe like? It's super laid back here, but in a nice way. It's a small community, so you'll start recognizing people pretty quickly. You'll see your neighbors grabbing coffee or hanging out at the local market, and everybody's friendly, for the most part. You don't need a car to get around either. Everything's so close that you can just walk out your front door, go to the restaurants, the coffee shops, the boutiques, all right within your fingertips. So I'm, the main drag here is probably oh, maybe less than a mile long or so. So I'm gonna kind of point out some of my favorite restaurants and coffee shops and maybe jump into a few along the way. So the beginning of Del Mar Village is mostly like little boutique places, some office space. There's a Pilates studio over here. As you get farther, as you get closer to 15th Street, that's where most of the restaurants are. You can see you're super close to the beach. Only about two blocks to the beach if you're on Camino Del Mar here, the 101. Um, lots of good restaurants options here, so we will be checking out shortly. We got B-Side Balcony right over there and Salt and Lime Mexican restaurant right under it. Two cool places to check out. Got Winston's ice cream right here. So Winston's is actually a new, newer ice cream place in here. It's thing that started up in San Marcos. I think this is their second location and they actually are opening a third location over by my office. So I live about, I don't know, about 10, 12 minutes away from Del Mar. And the big reason we come down to Del Mar is obviously go to the beaches. We also want to get, like, especially if we have people in town, we want to take them to some oceanfront dining or ocean view dining and Del Mar has lots of them. Another famous sandwich place here in San Diego called Borden Brew. They have excellent sandwiches here. Later, bro. I usually get the chicken club sandwich, one of my favorite sandwiches there. There's actually some pretty good history behind Del Mar. So way back in the 1800s, this guy named Jacob Taylor saw Del Mar and thought, you know what, this place could be a great seaside resort. And he was right. He built a hotel and started attracting folks who wanted to escape the inland heat and enjoy the ocean breezes. Then in the 1930s, Del Mar really hit its stride when the Del Mar racetrack opened up. And guess who was one of the biggest names behind it? Bing Crosby. He was one of the founders and even sang a little tune on the track's opening day. Racetrack brought all kinds of Hollywood glamour to the area, turning Del Mar into a hotspot for celebrities and racing fans alike. Del Mar is still home to many past and present athletes and celebrities from the likes of Drew Brees, Carson Palmer, and Tony Hawk to name a few. Even Bill Gates bought a home here in Del Mar just a few years back for a paltry $43 million. Across the street there, you see the Del Mar Library. That actually used to be the first Catholic church in Del Mar, if I remember correctly. And a library, I think, since the 1990s. Um, a lot of history down here in Del Mar. A lot of these places were first built around the early 1900s. This place used to be uh, a residence, um, and then it turned into a restaurant that was a very famous restaurant that I can't remember the name of it. But uh, this is where Bing Crosby used to hang out. You got your optometry office. You have some plastic surgery. We are in Del Mar after all. And then right at the corner here is Stratford Square, which uh, kind of takes on like the English Tudor look down here, but there's a lot of European influence down here in Del Mar, which I think is part of the charm of it. I'm a big Europe fan, so this is a nice look down here. So you can see they got the brick here, English Tudor style up there. Used to be a restaurant right across the street, but that closed down. Coming to, oh, Better Buzz Coffee is going in right across the street. So here's Harry's Coffee Shop. This has only been here for a few months. As you can see, it's a little bit later in the day, so kind of close up shop, but lots of outdoor seating. Very cool place to check out. 
That was right at the corner of 15th and Camino del Mar. Great location. You got the park right down there. You got the beach, obviously. So this is kind of like the main intersection in all of Del Mar. There used to be a restaurant on that one over there too that closed down, I think it was called West Brew. You have the Del Mar Plaza, which we're gonna go check out next. And then we have Le Berge Hotel, which is located right across the street. Okay, now we're on to the Del Mar Plaza. This probably has the most uh, shopping restaurants in all of Del Mar. And it's gone under a little bit of a revitalization over the last five, eight years or so. Uh, when I first moved to San Diego, this was kind of dumpy and it's got a lot more options now that we're gonna go check out shortly. Uh, I'll show you some, just kind of walk around the plaza, see what they have to offer. What I like most about Del Mar Plaza is that you can see the ocean from almost all the restaurants here and they have that some of the best outdoor patios in San Diego. And again, it has that very European feel to it that I just love. There are lots of little boutiques and shops that have some really unique stuff. Whether you're into fashion, looking for a cool gift, or just want to browse, it's hard not to find something that catches your eye. This is Izikaya, good sushi place, also great views here of the ocean. But what's really awesome is how the vibe changes in the evening. As the sun goes down, the whole place lights up with this warm, inviting glow. It's perfect whether you're going out for a date night or just grabbing a bite with friends. It feels like one of those spots where you can either get dressed up or just keep it casual and you'd fit right in. Honestly, it's just one of those places you have to experience for yourself. So if you're in the area, definitely check it out. Monarch Ocean Pub is my favorite spot in Del Mar. I think when you go to a restaurant in San Diego, the atmosphere is just as important as the food is, and Monarch does them both perfectly. One thing I will say about Del Mar in general, it doesn't have like a huge nightlife. I'd say like once like 9.30 or 10 o'clock uh, comes around, it gets pretty quiet over here. This shopping center is probably the one exception. And then um, Jimmy O's, which is just down the street, which is probably the one like pub they actually have here in Del Mar. But other than that, it gets pretty quiet pretty quickly here. So. If you like to go to bed by 10, 10.30, like I do, this might be a good place for you to check out. So lo located across the street is the LaBerge Hotel. This is probably the most prime location of any ho hotel in Del Mar. In fact, a lot of the Del Mars that say they're in Del Mar are on the very, very edge of Del Mar, not in Del Mar at all. So like the Marriott Del Mar, not in Del Mar. Even um, Fairmount Grand Del Mar is over in Carmel Valley. So just be aware if you're looking for a hotel in Del Mar, make sure you look at the map to see if it's actually in Del Mar. So now I'm heading down 5th Street, 15th Street, which is kind of the, the street most people go down to get toward the beach here. Uh, we're gonna hit Seagrove Park and uh, Powerhouse Park here shortly. All right, so now we're down at Powerhouse Park just off of Del Mar Beach. This is a great spot to go to. Uh, the grass here is great if you want to go here and just watch sunset and not get super sandy. We also have a very deep beach here. Uh, just know it gets super busy here in the summer times and even the spring or even the fall time. So um, it's probably one of the most popular beaches in all of San Diego, this one, and probably down in La Jolla are probably some of the most busiest. And the parking down here sucks. So if you're looking for parking, we have a small parking lot just off of uh, the main drag here. Other than that, it's just street parking. Uh, there's no real parking garage or anything like that. So if you're come down here at peak time, it's a pain in the butt to find parking. Um, you can't use your state parks pass down here, only at the state beach and Del Mar Beach is not one of those beaches. We also have a dog beach just north of here that I'm gonna go check out shortly. You can bring your dog on the beach here certain times of year or, or certain times of day but uh, you have to look that up because I don't know all the details on that one. This past New Year's, we actually did a polar plunge, which I feel like is slightly unfair because this is San Diego and it does, I mean, the water does get very cold here in uh, San Diego. It can get down into like the 60s or high 50s for the most part. Um, I actually heard recently the water got, got up to 73 degrees this past week, which is probably the warmest I've seen it in quite some time. So just know if you're coming here for warm water, this is probably not the best place for you but uh, a lot of people wear wetsuits here and, uh, and that works out pretty well. Del Mar Beach is probably the busiest beach in Del Mar. The summer seems to be full of tourists and high school students. If you don't love crowds, this may not be the best option for you, but it does have a beautiful beach with some great food options close by. So I just wanna show you how to get to the beach here at some of these restaurants here. So we have uh, Jake's Del Mar right here. And then just next to it, over the way, you have Poseidon. So you can see it, it's right on the beach here. And you got a nice deep beach here. You got volleyball courts. Even at a high tide, you still have plenty of beach here. But just now, it does get pretty crowded. And like I said, the parking's not great. So just be prepared for that when you come down to Del Mar. So 
So behind me was the parking lot I was talking about right here. As you can see, not a ton of parking spots here. And I think it's like 20 or $25 per day if you want to park here. And as you just saw, the train does go right through Del Mar, but it does not stop at Del Mar. The closest stop to here would be Solana Beach, which is just one town over. And you definitely hear the train as it comes through. So if you live right off the train tracks, you'll definitely hear it. So next stop on our tour is to the north, known as the Beach Colony. It's one of those spots that really captures the whole beach living vibe. It's this little amazing little area right along the shoreline. And the cool thing is you're literally steps away from the beach. Imagine waking up and having the ocean right there in your backyard every single day. That's what it's like for people that live in the beach colony. The homes here are incredible too. You've got everything from these cute classic beach cottages to super modern luxury homes. It's a mix of laid back old school beach charm and high end coastal living. No matter the style, the views are stunning. At the very north end of Del Mar is the famous Del Mar Dog Beach. It stretches about a half mile along the northern part of Del Mar's coastline begins at the mouth of the San Diguito River and extends northward towards Solana Beach. While it's not a huge area, it's spacious enough for dogs to run, play in the surf, and explore, especially at low tide when the beach expands. So that was my tour of Del Mar. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If this is your first time to my channel, please consider subscribing as it really helps get this video out to more people. And if you're ever looking to buy or sell a home here in San Diego, I'd love to help you out. Thanks for watching and catch us next time. Bye.